Senator Elaine McCoy is standing by her decision to pick Don Meredith as one of two Senate representatives to attend the 2017 UN Commission on the Status of Women. It's a decision she made last month when Meredith was still under investigation by the ethics officer for having a sexual relationship with a young woman before she turned 18. At that point, he was innocent until proven guilty, and that had been our stance all along. I would say that the decision is tone deaf. I would say that it's just wildly inappropriate, and I can't think of a single reason why he would be the most qualified person in that position. Meredith was set to attend the UN conference, but was pulled from the trip after Conservative Senator Don Plett says he confronted McCoy about the optics. He also pointed out that McCoy only had the authority to pick one delegate, not two. Senator McCoy, when I talked to, seemed to be uh, absolutely on side and seemed to uh, not have thought of the negative uh, connotations of sending somebody to a conference like that. Last week, the ethics officer released a report that found Meredith's relationship violated the Senate's ethics code. The ethics committee is expected to discuss the report and Meredith's future at a private meeting to be held one week from Wednesday. The Senate has all the, the powers that, it, that are necessary to protect its, uh, its integrity and to, to assure its proper fun functioning, and so that... That includes the power to discipline senators, and, and it can go up to, if they want, uh, expelling members. This constitutional lawyer says Meredith must be given the chance to defend himself at the Ethics Committee. But if members decide they still want to expel him, they can move the issue to the floor of the Senate, where it will be up to Meredith's peers to decide if he should stay or go in an open vote. Ultimately, it would be a, a majority, a simple majority vote uh, from the Senate. After days of silence, a spokeswoman from Meredith's office finally told reporters today the senator will not be doing any media interviews at this time. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.